Hello everybody, uh, we'll do a demonstration over here in downtown Berkeley. Uh, we'll be getting started here in a couple of minutes. Uh, I know people are watching from all around the globe, or will be, so let's... Anyway, uh, we're just getting started. I'm going to restart the uh, live stream. I just want to keep it up. Uh, there will be uh, there is a scheduled demonstration here at Berkeley Bart. Uh, solidarity with the Kobani soldiers, YPG, that are fighting right now. They were under attack again today for the 44th consecutive day, I believe. And that's why we're here. And uh, I'll restart the live stream when thing starts happening. Uh, so if you'd like to log in and chat and have anything to say, it would be really great. Or, you know, you can follow me. This is Freeman Sullivan, and we're here. It's October 28th, 2014, and we're here in downtown Berkeley, awaiting the beginning of Solidarity with Kobani demonstration. So we should get started in just a couple of minutes. So we're awaiting the beginning of a demonstration here, for those of you just joining us. And we're here in downtown Berkeley. Beautiful evening. Uh, the demonstration was scheduled to begin at 6 o'clock, but as you guys well know, demonstrations often start late. Actually, most of them start late because they're always waiting to try to get just a few more people to show up. But here, I don't see anybody, really. And I was down here last week. The demonstration got canceled a few hours before it happened, so let's hope that this one is not canceled. Um, big shout out to all the fighters over in Kobani because that's what this demonstration is all about. Fighting on bravely. Anyway, there's supposed to be a demonstration down here. By golly. Oh yeah, it, um, if you're just getting here, uh, just getting online, just watching this, um, I was getting trolled by uh, Roseanne. Roseanne Barr, I guess you remember her from her uh, sitcom back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Anyway, she called me a racist. Uh, during the uh, live stream, and I, you know, I take it very personally because I'm not a racist, and when I cover things, I don't cover. I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm not advocating any kind of violence or any kind of like lower consciousness kind of thinking to anybody. Um, I ended up having a blocker on my Twitter uh, because uh, there were all these other people that follow her, I guess, um, that are Zionists and. Uh, I kind of was able to shut it down before I was getting trolled too much. So, uh, Roseanne, if you're watching, you're you're dead wrong about what you were saying about me, and uh, I really don't care anymore. But there you go. Enough's enough. So yeah, we're just getting started for people that are just joining us. Uh, Solidarity with Kobani demonstration is scheduled. Actually, it was scheduled to start at six. It's now. 
6.05, so we'll hang out here for a while. Uh, if you're interested in helping out uh, the refugees that have been displaced, uh, estimated 200,000 refugees that have been driven out of Kobani by the fighting, uh, you can go to the website H-E-Y-V-A-S-O-R dot com and that will, uh, there's a little button in the upper right hand side of the website and you can donate money and to uh, the people there to pay for things like medical supplies, food and it's administrated by the uh, Red Crescent of Kobani. I see a few people that have started to show up. So uh, this demonstration is in support of YPG which is the, uh, uh, the best way to translate those that acronym is People's Protection Militias or Units, I believe, PPU. Uh, and they're a fairly non-hierarchical army. There's some support. Uh, the thing that's unique about Kobani and why I'm out here supporting it is that it's a genuine anti-authoritarian movement. So uh, I see some people here. So. We will be getting started here in just a few minutes. Uh, no, she was actually, uh, she was tweaking, she was uh, tweeting me uh, after, I guess she saw it on my YouTube page, because she was following me on Twitter. Yeah, so I had to block her. And uh, yeah, Roseanne Barr, uh, she's a real piece of work, that lady. You know, and I really liked her. I even supported her run for president in 2012 and uh, you know she's right on about the marijuana issue but you know everything else is uh, especially Israel and then uh, yeah so, so there you go So I do see a few people here. This is not going to be like this massive 50,000 man demonstration. Uh, I'd be happy to see 40 or 50 people show up. But we're basically out there for people around the world and followers. I don't know if any of you guys caught the uh, Hungarian, uh, the Budapest live stream today of uh, the march against the internet tax. I, I would estimate just from looking at live streams that there was probably about 50,000 people there. And then uh, Patty was in LA to do the, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, well, they had a hashtag for it. I can't remember what it is now. Uh, but at any rate, uh, they had about 5,000. That was about 5,000 strong. So, uh, but I'm not really looking to, at this demo, I'm not, we're not really about numbers here. Uh, there is a worldwide demonstrations that are going on all around uh, cities of the world. And, uh, if somebody knows a website for that where people can go and check, uh, you know, we'll see. Anyway, I did invite, uh, Roseanne's not barred from chat, and uh, she is aware of who I am, and so if you're out there, Roseanne, join in the chat. Uh, yeah, I agree with what you're saying. She can't get along with anybody right now, but, uh, I mean, John Goodman, when he left the show, he said that she was impossible. So uh, once you get some idea in her mind about what's going on, I guess that's it, huh? You know, well, I, you know what? Her opinion and 250 will get you a fucking cup of coffee at Starbucks, right? So uh, there's that's there, and and uh, you know I'm not gonna let people bully me into not live streaming things and not voicing my opinion. You know, fuck that. You know, that's not the reason I'm out here. I'm out here trying to spread a little goodness and a little higher consciousness and let people know what's going on in the world. You know, and. Uh, so yeah, if you're uh, yeah, if you're looking to donate, which these people really, really need the money, I'm not. I don't ask for donations on my live stream. I would rather for you to go to h e y v a s o r havasor dot com, and you can make a donation using PayPal uh, through that account. There's a little button up at the top right hand corner, and that money goes to the Red Crescent of the Kurdistan. The PK, uh, the uh, so it will be uh, administered by the people that are actually receiving the aid and not through th some third party organization. I checked them out a little bit. Um, the situation in Kobani right now is still dire. Uh, there's still battles that are going on. Probably right now there's battles. Uh, ISIS is, keeps launching new attacks 
but uh, the uh, brave soldiers of the y YPG and the YPJ have, uh, you know, have fought back and uh, successfully have repulsed ISIS attacks for uh, 44 days going and counting. So I see a couple of more of our Occupy SF friends uh, that are here. And what's cool, and I really, what I'm really excited about what's happening in Kobani, I'm not excited at the fact that people are getting killed, but what excites me is that there is a significant anti-authoritarian presence. And the uh, at least the Kurds in Syria and in parts of Iraq are actually organized uh, along anti-authoritarian lines, much like we were organized and Occupy. So that's very heartening, and that's why I'm out here, and I will support anarchist causes and causes in the fight to uh, for anti-authoritarianism. So we got a few people out here with signs. And uh, last time I tried to interview some, this is not a real well-organized event. Like, there's not like media spokespeople here or anything like that. Not like at Block the Boat, uh, because Palestinians have been at it at the uh, propaganda game a little bit longer. But, uh, you know, if you want more information about what's going on, let me just go ahead and type it in, about what's going on in Kurdistan. And this seems to be the most reliable source of information that I've come across. So I'm going to go ahead and type it in on the chat. There you go. Um, that's the most reliable website uh, uh, to check for. For uh, That site's usually updated about every day or two. And it comes from an anti-authoritarian, libertarian, socialist perspective. So uh, we're going to get more a more truthful account about what's going on than we would by any other source. And the Kurds are not asking for the Americans to come and join the fight. Uh, basically, they're just looking for weapons so they can do the fight on their own. At least that's the, according to the intelligence that I've received. So we do have a few people that have shown up. And I think they're going to go out to the corner, so we're going to go walk around to the corner here. Beautiful night out here in Berkeley, as is weather here most of the year. So I think folks are going to be moving out to the corner here. Yeah, hey. So I got a few people that have shown up so far. And for those of you who just joined us, we're here in downtown Berkeley with your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. And we're here to demonstrate solidarity with Kobani and uh, the people of the fighters of the YPG and YPJ. So as soon as we get a chance, I'm going to walk across the street here. So just a small crowd so far. Uh, basically, I'm just doing, I'm really doing this live stream because I really want to bring awareness about the situation, about what's going on in Kobani, because I'm sure of you, that a lot of you are not familiar with what's happening over there. So there's pitch battles being fought. Uh, they started approximately 45 days ago. And at first, Turkey would not allow the Kurdish, uh, the soldiers and men from the PKK and the, from the Kurdistan army to, uh, to go and cross the border and go into Turkey. and uh, But they finally relented and now they're finally letting Kurds go from Turkey because about 20% of, of Turkey's population is Kurdish. So, uh, 
you have that to consider. Beeping of horns. So anybody's got any questions about what's going on, and I did a lot of quite a bit of reading about what's going on. I'm glad everybody's here. Uh, for those of you just joining us again, we're in downtown Berkeley. And this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. I'm glad you could join us. So one by one, just more people trickling. Anyway, for those of you, uh, we're out here uh, supporting uh, solidarity with the people of Kobani, uh, located in north, the north Syria, along the border with Turkey. There's been pitch battles going on between ISIS, who's trying to take control of the town, and YPG and other fighters, uh, uh, Kurdish fighters, and uh, which have been unsuccessful. At first, it looked like the uh, ISIS was going to uh, take over the town, but uh, at the last minute, uh, there was airstrikes from NATO, and they were able to uh, at least repulse the attacks for yet another day. And we're not talking about war. I mean, this is war that's being fought in block to block and building to building. Uh, we're not talking about a uh, big battlefield. This is a city that's under bombardment right now, and uh, regular bombardment, daily bombardment. And unfortunately, a lot of the weapons that the ISIS possesses are, in fact, from the United States. So, we just want to make people aware of that. Uh, if you want to know about uh, what's going on here in the Bay Area, uh, let's see. There's going to be a bunch. Of, there's going to be quite a few more, two more Kobani demonstrations I know about. Uh, there's, but unfortunately, they're going to be uh, at the same time. They're coming up on Saturday, November 1st. Uh, one of them is scheduled for 11 o'clock at Union Square in San Francisco. Um, the second one is going to be at the uh, Oakland City Center, 12th Street Bart. And that will be at uh, 3 p.m. Um, the notes are on November 1st. And also on November 1st, there will be a demonstration. Two blocks, if you can just see right down that street, I'm pointing down the camera. Uh, two blocks down there is the Berkeley Post Office. And there will be a demonstration there on November 1st because the post office is being sold right out from underneath the people of Berkeley. So those are what's coming up that I know about. And uh, the best way to to find out about what's going on in the Bay Area is to go to the Occupy SF group in Google. I believe that's OccupySF.GoogleGroups.com and join that group and you will be receive uh, all the latest information. Adrian's a real whiz at letting everybody know what's going on. She follows many different calendars and uh, to, uh, to like, get you up to date on what's going on. We got a small demonstration here, not much chanting going on, but you know, hopefully we're hoping for more people to show up. I'm not real sure about how many Kurds live here in the Bay Area, but I wouldn't think that it was a real significant amount of people. 
Uh, the Kurds are the fourth largest uh, group of people in the Middle East. Uh, they're not exclusively uh, Arab, uh, they're not exclusively Muslim, and uh, very tolerant. It's a very tolerant society uh, because the Kurds have been oppressed for many, many years, and they are in fact labeled the PKK is labeled as a terrorist organization in Turkey. So we're trying to change all that, and uh, the Kurds seem to be the only ones that live up to their uh, to their agreements in the Middle East. So that's real important too. So we'll stay out here till uh, till it gets dark and we can't really see anything anymore. I'm going to purchase some lights here in a couple of days, um, so that way uh, when we do some night stuff here, winter is coming, and that's pretty much the only way you can tell winter is coming out here in California. Uh, it rains a little bit and the sun goes down earlier, but generally the temperature stays the same. I mean the weather here is pretty much the same most of the year. So, anyways, getting back to what I was saying, uh, we we'll get some lights and uh, because of I have to be covering some night stuff. Glad you're joining us. Yeah, you know, Carlisle, they only allow you uh, uh, three people, and you were the fourth, unfortunately. Um, depends on who's modding. I'll, you're definitely on my list, okay? I'm sorry about that. Like I said, folks, I didn't expect a zillion people to show up at this, but it's good to see people are out here. People do care about what's going on in Kobani. And if people are just going to stand here and hold signs up, I'm not going to stream much longer. Uh, there will be a march on, like I said, in Oakland at the 12th Street, 12th and Broadway, on Saturday, November 1st at 3 p.m. And uh, if you'd like to make a donation, uh, in the chat, if you'll scroll down in the chat, um, it's H-E-Y-B-A-S-O-R dot com. And there's a little button there if you'd like to donate a dollar or two to, you know, as little as two dollars. That'll buy food for five people for two days. You know, so, uh, you know, these people are out here, they're living in tents. They're, you know, they're living in, in the elements. A lot of people don't even have tents. They don't even have adequate water uh, or adequate food or adequate medical supplies. So, uh, H-E-Y-B-A-S-O-R dot com. And uh, the link that I left, uh, it's the Rajova Report dot, dot WordPress dot com, and uh, that you can go for more up-to-date information about what's going on in Kobani. We got some guy standing in the middle of the street. I don't know what he's doing out there. So for people just joining us one by one, it's kind of like the demo. Uh, we're out here in support of Kobani, uh, a town of 400,000 on the border between Syria and Turkey, where there are fierce battles going on right now between fighters of the YPG and uh, ISIS. So uh, that's why we're out here. I saw another police officer pull up. Generally, uh, the police here in Berkeley are pretty mellow about demonstrations. So we're out here in support of Kobani, and I'll be out here for just a few more minutes. I uh, just wanted to uh, come out here for solidarity, and we're here in downtown Berkeley. Uh, Berkeley used to be really known as a place for demonstrations, still quite a liberal city. Uh, the joke was uh, People's Republic of Berkeley, uh, that was one of the names, because uh, they used to have communist mayor, but uh, Gus... Uh, uh, old Gus was a great mayor, mayor for this town, and a lot of things happened here. That makes Berkeley very unique among cities here in the United States. Very much politically aware, has a lot to do with the university. Um, I fought a lot of battles uh, over here, down that street, a couple blocks down. So I have a history here too as well. But what's happening in Komani is happening now. So we're glad to have you watching. And I'll walk over here in a minute. I 
see if I can get somebody besides me to flap their gums about what's going on here in Kobani. to say a few words to the audience about what's going on out here? I'm sorry? Would you like to say a few words to the audience that are watching oh, right now? To him. Okay. Yeah, would you like to say a few words to uh, people who are watching? Uh, so what's the situation in Kobani right now? Unfortunately, the problem is that uh, the whole world is, uh, you know, just leaving those uh, people alone and it's a very bad situation. The city is in a siege and, uh, of course, it's getting a little bit better than two weeks ago that we started this movement. That we wanted to uh, give awareness to the people that what's going on, what's the situation in uh, Kobani and how if they, you know, if they would attack, it would be a horrible disaster. What they would do to the people and what would go on over there. But now the people are just resisting, resisting and fighting. And what we're doing over here, we want the people all around the world to see what's going on and help us support them. So another disaster wouldn't happen, like what happened in the 90s in one city called Halabche that they uh, dropped chemical bombs on them and killed everyone. So this is what we're planning to do to inform people and raise awareness. All right, thanks a lot. Your name is, your name is, sir? Ali. Ali, nice to meet you. Thank you, pleasure. Uh, you know, he said, mentioned Halabja, but that was just one phase out of exactly. eight phases of the NFAL campaign. It started out around the city of Kirkuk, which is where I'm from. They started destroying villages, gassing people, yeah. taking their property, so and leveling the ground. About, uh, they destroyed anywhere protest? between three to 4,000 villages during the two years of Amphal campaign in the late 80s. So Halabja was one that got recognition because there's a video of it. Right. And the others didn't, so, you know, they don't get as much TV time. But it was a major campaign. Well, thank I am you. From that area. Okay. How long have you been living here in California? Since 1981. Okay. I love California. And your name is? Shai. Shai, my name's Clark. Nice to meet you. Um, uh, it's for live stream. I do. I cover political demonstrations around the Bay Area. Right. So, and I do live streams. This is going out over the internet. And uh, and I tried. I've been uh, I've been interested in what's going on in Kabani because they do have an authentic anarchist style movement, anti-authoritarian. They are absolutely stunning. I am amazed by what they're doing. Really amazed. They're just right. incredibly brave and resilient people. I agree. Everyone is saying, oh, don't bother. It's gone. They're going to take it over. Let's not bother. And they fought back. They persisted. Yeah, persisting. You have to. Yep. So thank you. Thank you. So we've got a few people out of here. Out here in support of Kabani. Just like Just a second, folks. Sorry. There we go. Make it a little easier and a little clearer. So we'll do one more shot from across the street. And yeah, you got a pretty good idea of what's going on. The Kurds have been fighting. They've been fighting. The, you know, they're very much a victim of geography um, and the fact that they're. The Kurdish population is spread between Syria, Turkey, and Iraq, and uh, which is kind of unfortunate. And Iran. So uh, they're kind of a victim of geography in that uh, the British, when they were carving up the Middle East, uh, they never made any provisions for Kurdistan. So uh, you've got people that are fighting and have their own language, you have their own identity.
got a few folks out here. So we'll give it one more shot from across the street. Out here in Berkeley, downtown Berkeley, this is your live stream with Freeman Sullivan. Glad you could join us. Uh, we're out here uh, for solidarity with the city of Cobain, a city of 400,000, which is in the border between Syria and Turkey. And uh, we're out here showing our support for those brave fighters of that anti-authoritarian movement. There you have it, folks. Check out the chat here in a minute. Second here. Hey, thanks. Uh, yeah, geography swipes the van. Yeah, that right. Yeah, thanks for my mods, for Cindy. Thanks a lot for modding. I really appreciate it. You know, I haven't really encountered a lot of spam and crap on my. Uh, on the chat, you know, because I'm, I'm, you know, like uh, Oakland L, she, she was getting, she'd see some of the stuff that people were posting. It's just that, uh, you know, I want to keep the crap off of the chat, you know, and I generally don't engender trolls and I don't encourage trolls and um, I generally try not to respond to them. But thanks a lot, everybody who's watching for modding uh, the live stream. I'm sure that I'll be covering more controversial topics and those uh, topics will, uh, in all likelihood, attract. Uh, people that disagree that are nasty, so uh, they're looking for attention, basically, and that's basically what trolls do: uh, trying to uh, say the meanest possible things so they will get your attention. So the best thing to do is delete them and block them, and don't give them any attention. Well, we got a hearty little demonstration. I guess there's about a let's see, four, or eight. Ten people, and I know it was going to be small, but I am totally in support of this this cause. And hopefully, uh, the, at our demonstrations, there's going to be one in Union Square in San Francisco at 11 a.m. on Saturday, and there is going to be one in Bur in uh, Oakland, excuse me, downtown Oakland, on the first as well, and that'll start at 3 p.m. And that will have a march that goes along with that. And I will be present at that one live streaming. As far as my personal live streams go. I'll be at the Berkeley Post Office at 11 a.m. on Saturday, November 1st, and then I'll go to the Oakland uh, Kobani demonstration. So, we're glad everybody's watching. And this is a pretty low-key demonstration. I didn't expect a lot to happen. Uh, the Bay Area Light Brigade was going to come down here, but then uh, they decided to uh, do their thing on 280. If you're by I believe it's like 18th or 22nd in Vermont. It's down by General Hospital, so you'll see it if you're driving down 280 on the freeway. Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this live stream and uh, sign off. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for everybody for modding for me. Um, I really appreciate it. This is a group effort. Uh, it takes everybody to make these things successful, and uh, everything to make movements takes a great deal of number of people, so I'm really happy not to be out here and feel like I have to be here alone. Um, so anyway, uh, you have everybody have a great evening, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.